What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your boy, Sir Love. I have another dope episode for you guys today. What are we talking about? We're going to be talking about power dynamics. Power dynamics in management. Continuing on with this series about management. I've had a lot of questions about management lately, so I'm doing more videos on management to kind of answer some of these questions and to dig deeper into the concept. Some of you guys are artists looking for managers. Some of you guys are managers look, uh, uh, looking for artists. Both of you guys need to understand power dynamics, which is the topic today. Power dynamics. Now, I flushed this out a lot in the info pack, but I want to jump into uh, high level what these concepts look like so you guys can understand it going forward. So let's do it. Number one, politics. Now, this is in no order, but I want to say politics. Politics is very important. Politics really is a combination of networking and knowing who is who and understanding what's going on and who benefits from what. It's a big chess game. What you'll learn is once you get in the game, people that on the outside of the game that look really big, like there's somebody that you probably admire right now that you think is this big. But when you get into the game, you realize that they're this big. And then there are people in the game that you have no idea who the F they are. And they're this big and it's like a whole thing <laughs> that you go through with trying to understand the landscape okay you're this person and, and you're this person and okay you used to work with this person and all right but this person fired you so you don't you don't like this person and he fired you because you was fucking this girl who was, who was this person who was powerful over here and doing like you it's a whole thing it's it's it's, it's it's a it's an ecosystem, if you will. And once you get in the game, you'll begin to learn the ecosystem, the ecosystem and learn the politics. And you'll start to understand that maybe you shouldn't go into the meeting with this guy and even bring up anything that you did with this guy or, you know, and just different scenarios that you'll learn when it comes to playing the game. Politics is a huge power dynamic because the better you understand the game, the better you can play it. That's what turns it into Jess. Politics is your understanding of the pieces and how they move across the board, okay? Huge power dynamic, a person that can master power dynamics is a person that can excel and have a lot of power because they can manipulate and move people and move pieces around the board that will allow them to put their artists in a successful place. And if you're an artist, to put your team in a successful place. And the beauty of this is that politics starts at the ground level. Politics is a power dynamic that you need to master. You need to master how to walk into a room and figure out who's who, who's important, who's not, who's who's dealing with who, who's connected to who, who works with who, who doesn't rock with who. This is a skill that you need to work on. Number two, power dynamic number two, access. Access, the people, the, the, the people that control the access have so much power, they're gatekeepers. They, they decide who comes in and who goes out. These are people that you need to be friends with, people that you need to get close to it. There's a booking agent out there that it can change your life. Having access to you know what his team is able to do can completely change your life. There's promoters out there that if you can align yourself with them the right way and they give you access to all their venues, you can really reach a larger audience. A lot of times we find ourselves in circles doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. The difference between you doing that thing and the next thing is your access to that thing. And that's going to come down to you building a relationship with the people that are the gatekeepers to the access. Access is power. There's power in the access. So you as a manager, you uh, as a business person in this game need to be thinking about one, ways that you can Build relationships with people that have access so that you can gain power yourself. Because if person A, you know, builds a relationship with you and they say, hey, you know, I'm just going to let you know whenever there's an event. Say you partner with the PR, you get a good relationship with the PR. The PR is like, hey, I'm going to let you know when every dope event's coming to the city and I'm going to put you on a list with a plus one. Well, you just got access through this person's power. They transition their power over to you because now you have the power to invite one person to every event, which makes you a gatekeeper to a whole new audience. So now you can start trading that power for someone else's power with something else. Hey man, I can get you into this. Yo, you should come over to such such an event to me. Oh man, I was trying to get into that event. Oh, I got you, I'll put you on the list. Damn, who is this guy? He can just put me on the list. 
You ain't no goddamn body, but you're somebody. You got power. And then you're going to turn around and reach out to that person one day because you know what they're doing. I say, hey, bro, are you still doing the, the, those tours with such and such and such? Man, I'm really trying to get my artists on there. Dog, I got you. Why? Because you're exchanging powers, favors for favors for favors, right? Then when the guy's on a tour, you're going to say, hey, man, who's that tour with? Oh, the tour is sponsored by so-and-so. Question. You guys got a PR for that tour yet? No, we don't have a PR for this tour. Well, I want to introduce you to PR that hooked you up the deal in the first place and loop them back in. Now PR that hooked you up that deal is going to keep them opportunities flooding to you. Just looked out for them, looked out for them. Like everyone's looked out for it. This is power dynamics in action. This is the trading of power dynamics. This is how this shit works. And that's from an access perspective. That's just using access as an example um, of, of how it can be done and how you can maneuver and how you can make things happen. Number three, vices. This isn't necessarily a positive power dynamic, but it is a power dynamic. It can be used in positive ways, but there's power and vices. I know a guy that got a record deal because he brought the best weed to the studio. I know a lot of guys that get checks because they bring the best weed to the studio. They go on tour because they bring the best weed to the studio. Rappers like weed or they got the fucking uh, syrup or, you know, promethazine, all that other type of stuff and the drugs, the coke, the pills, the whatever. You know, those guys can create power for themselves because they have access to the stuff that the artist needs to be creative. The artist is in a position where they can't get get caught with that stuff on them because everything comes down on them. All the bad press, all the bad PR, all the court charges. Why? Because the courts know, hmm, you know, if I lock up 2 chains' assistant, you know, he's going to go to jail. He's going to, I can only, you know, hold him for but so long. He pays his bond. His bond is, you know, a thousand dollars and he leaves. But if I lock 2 chains up, well, he can make his bond $30,000, $50,000, $100,000, whatever the freak they want to do. It becomes a money play. Artists don't want to be involved in that. As a manager, this is a management series. As a manager, you don't want your artists involved in that. So what happens? You have other people bringing the vices. There's a lot of power in a person that brings the vices. Vices are not just drugs. Vices can also be women or men, depending on if you have an artist or, I mean, a male artist or woman artist or gay, straight, whatever. Sex is a vice in itself. So vices are a power, play a powerful role in the business. When you get, the deeper you get, the more shit you're gonna see. And that's just what it is. So there's a lot of power in vices. There's a lot of freedom. There's a lot of spirituality. There's a lot of weird shit. It just kind of depends on what space you get into. And I'm gonna leave that at that. But we talk a lot about all this stuff in the info pack. Let's keep going, next topic. Muscle. Muscle is a huge power uh, source in this game. Muscle is the ability to basically have goons around you that can scare people or intimidate people into doing stuff that they otherwise wouldn't do. It's also the ability to protect yourself from other people. Hence, you can be on the road. It's no secret that, you know, when you're on the road, you can get $30,000 cash from a club for performing. Well, it's also no secret that you can leave that club and that club owner can turn around and send people off to try to rob your tour bus to get his money back. So having muscle around you can help protect you from those types of scenarios. At the same time, having muscle around you can intimidate people into doing things that they wouldn't normally do. You know, you watch the NWA movie and, you know, I think it was Suge Knight and his guys were beating up on Eazy-E and made him sign a release form for Dr. Dre, right? That's muscle, right? You know? was known in the game for being a person with muscle, but he's not the only one. You know, Ice Cube, in the same movie, Ice Cube went, went into Priority Records with bats and shit and tore the whole place up, right? And that's a true story. There's a whole lot of stories in the game about how muscle has been used to help people get what they want, to show people that they're not playing. This game is very aggressive, especially if you're in hip hop. Hell, blues was aggressive, rock is aggressive, hip hop is aggressive. There's a lot of aggressive areas within this business. It's not really sexy segmented in any one particular genre. The next one is going to be network. 
Network, we kind of talked about this a little bit when it comes to, when it came to access, right? Access, I talked about how you knew this person and helped you create all these other scenarios. Well, networking is huge because the more people you know, the more power you have. There are power in people. You may not be a person with access. You may not be a political person. You may not be a person with muscle. You may not be a person with money. You may not be a person with all sorts of things, but you can be the person that knows all of those people and has a relationship with all those people. A network is not a cell phone full of people. A network is a cell phone full of people that pick up when you call them. That is a network. If you have a true relationship, when you call that person, they see your number, they're going to call you back or text you back, you know, either immediately or at least within three days. That means you have a good relationship with that person. If not, if you have that number, but you never reached out to them, bro, you do not have a network. Okay. Networking is all about figuring out how to move pieces around the board to get what you need. Can I connect this person with this person with this person and move this person here to get this person here to somehow be the middleman for all these interactions that allows me to gain power from being a middleman through interactions, helping other people win. The best thing that you can do as a manager as, or as an artist is offer something free to someone when you first meet them. When you meet somebody, try to find a reason to help them. They're called favors. You get favors, you pass favors around. The power is in the favor. The power is in being the middleman, connecting different people to different people. You are the network. You are the router, if you will, in this scenario. The last one that I'm gonna talk about, even though there are many more, I talk about all of them and, and, and more and all of these in more depth uh, in the uh, How to Be a Music Manager uh, Info Pack 101. We just released it, it's on the website. It's available, it's something that you should check out if you're trying to be a music manager, or if you're an artist looking to figure out what type of music manager that you wanna have, or if you're just trying to soak up game on this topic. But the last topic I'm gonna to hit is sex and love. Now. Sex and love can really fuck some shit up in this business. It can make things happen and it can really mess stuff up and muddy the things up a lot. So one thing to recognize is that sex is a powerful thing. Love is a powerful thing. They have its own power in themselves. They have the ability to bring people together. They have the ability to make people fall apart. Okay. That is a huge strength. So if you're, you know, and, and so I've seen scenarios. I'm not going to, I'm not going to promote any of these activities. I'm just telling you what I've seen. I've seen artists build relationships with publicists or build relationships with a, 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 someone else in the game. It happens with artists and publicists a lot, but it also happened with, you know, assistants, booking agents, executives, et cetera, et cetera, where they get physical and they get intimate. And in that situation, when you love someone and when you're physically involved or engaged with someone and you've shared something with someone at that capacity, you have more compassion for their dreams and what they want to do. Therefore, you've seen a lot of situations in which people get intimate after getting intimate more services are rendered at cheaper prices or for free. So, you know, that's, I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm just going to let that live how that is. See that happen all the time. Also see other instances in which artists are wooed away from one person or one company to the next due to their sexual or love interest. Me talking about this on a free video makes me uncomfortable. I'm going to talk about this, type, this subject at length in the private videos that I'm going to be releasing, but just throwing it online for everybody is definitely a stretch. But power is a tricky subject to talk about because it can come across really immoral. It can come across really messed up, but I want you guys to understand, you know, what it is being a manager. You're, you're in a world where you're dealing with power all the time and you're trying to figure out how to gain power and to use power to help you do the things that you want to do and of course you're not trying to do this in some effed up immoral way you're trying to figure out ways to do it in which it can be mutually beneficial for everybody involved right but these are there are other people that may not have that positive outlook and may not be using power as a positive tool but maybe using it as a negative tool therefore i say these things for you guys to be aware that these things exist and there's a bunch more i don't want to jump into them all but i gave you a, a, a real snapshot of the ecosystem and environment that you're in Okay, so this is all about being a manager and trying to be a better manager and as an artist trying to find a manager and what skill sets they should have. So this episode was called Power Dynamics and I know the topic is gonna make a lot of people sleep on it because I'm not gonna make it no clickbaity type shit. But if you caught it, it's because you rock with the channel and this is something that's really gonna help you guys going forward. I really hope you observed that. There's way more where that came from. Trying to find a manager, have power dynamics of the 
top click baby type shit what ready to send it no <laughs> okay i won't send it just yet let me know when you're ready to continue cancel okay let me know if there's anything else you need thank you siri leave that in there that was, that was fucking hilarious uh um I think that's it. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little and a little bit about a lot. And as I always do, I'm giving you guys everything that I got. This is phase six. Hit the subscribe button. Like to other people about this. Get the info pack. Don't get the info pack. Watch more free content. Don't watch more free content. It's your world. Do you. Beam in. If you do anything, no. Beam in. Get focused. Learn this game. Be successful. That's what I want from everybody. I want everyone to play this game at the next level. Be successful and win. That's the goal of this channel. www.phasevi.com. Phase6.com. More information, more resources, more tools, more everything for you guys to, to get better abreast of the business and learn how to navigate and win. You can reach out to me from the website. You can reach out to me from the text phone number at the bottom of the website. You can leave comments. Hit the subscribe button. Share. That's it. That's all I got for you, man. Sir, <laughs> sir, love, I'm out.